Hey there, Booster Bogan here today. We're at Paddington Car Festival, Car Show, if you will. There's some gorgeous cars around here. The scenery is absolutely fantastic. Make sure to pop down and check it out. Hey there, Booster Bogan here today. We've got ourselves two little cars which are a little bit too small for an in-car interview, so we might tell you a little bit of a tale about them. Uh, I've got my nephew sitting in place just to give you an idea of scale and just how small these little creatures are. I'm here today with Dennis and we're going to learn a little bit about this creature here and the one just behind me over here. Where did you get the where did you get the dash and interior from in this one? This one I just made that up. I don't know. The wheels are off a couple of mini bikes. Made all the chassis, what done all the seats. Now the gearbox is out of a little Dexon uh, ride on lawnmower, a real old one. It's chain driven back to there, then across to there and then back to the wheel. It's only one wheel drive. With these passion projects, obviously you've taken the time to be pretty close to the money. Like, as much as you say it's not the scale, I no, think that's it's a, just done by looking. At I it. think it's a pretty darn good replica. <laughs> so, give us a bit of the the tale. Like you were saying to me before about how you did the hood and the started with the roof. Yeah, well, the roof's off a short wheelbase Land Cruiser. Cut about two foot out of it and re fiberglassed it together. Yep. Because they're all fiberglass roof. Bonnets are off a real one, just the corners joined together. Yep. The front part's carved out of wood, the white part. Yeah, so all the light bar and that's actually out of wood, is it? That's all wood, these are wood. It's gorgeous. And check this out guys, this is the dash we're talking about. This is taken out of a Land Cruiser. All custom made, so it's all been fabricated and put into this car itself. The listed value on both of these cars, the little one's over a million dollars and this one's two million dollars because the memories in these are priceless. These were built for his grandkids, fantastic story behind them and they're older than half of the classic cars here. I love the story behind these sorts of stuff and it's really unique. So you're, you're saying so it's got a Datsun diff in it and the gearbox, so what's the drivetrain in this one all yeah, about? Yeah, it's got tail shaft. Yep. Yeah, square tube and one inside the other. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> square tube drive shaft, love it. Yeah, square tube. Yeah, it works alright. I mean, it does the job. I mean, it, the kids, the kid grandkids must absolutely love it. Oh, yeah, they go. Yeah. So, how, how old are these two? So, how old is this one to start with? Well, that one, oh, this one, uh, it'd be about 20 years, I think, I've had this. So, when we're looking at these, these are home homemade cars, but that's still a 20 year old car. It really is a classic car. And then the one behind you there. It's about 24. That one there is actually 25 years old, so these are older than most of so a lot of the cars that are actually here. Yeah. So that's a pretty classic piece. Motorbike number plates. Yep. I only had one of each, so I, so I made them. I made a couple. Just put real thin aluminium over the top of it, yep. clamp it on, you know, and panel boot it. So mm -hmm. that raised letters. Yep. Numbers. See you in the next truck.